Afternoon folks, hope you're all well. Thought just a little video, um, we're off on our trip to Germany in the next couple of days. So um, down to Baden-Baden and then off to Munich for Oktoberfest. So I'm just going to do a short video on what I pack. We're away for eight nights staying in hotels with all but one day being on the bike. So for those that have never done a European trip or any sort of bike trip and wondering what they need to pack etc just going to go through what I pack I've done this for quite a few years now so got it down to a fine art and realized that you don't need half the amount of stuff that you think you need for the trips so let's run through what I'll be taking on this trip later this week so first thing then is my main bag now your bike will be dependent on how much luggage you've got, whether you've got a touring bike with panniers, top box, whether you're riding alone or with a pillion. I've got a Kawasaki H2 SX SE. Haven't got the pannier kit, light traveling, quite light. So what I've got is a single bag. This is a fully waterproof bag via, from a company called Lomo up in Scotland. It's got welded seams it's waterproof to the point that it is submersible so should be completely dry provided you do it up properly whilst on the bike this is the 40 litre version that you can see inside there and what we'll do in that we'll pack all the clothes uh, toiletries and stuff that we don't need instantly on the bike roll it down, lock it in and that should be strapped to the back seat. So that is the main bag that we'll be taking on the bike. The only other bag we'll be taking is my Jivy Extreme 15 litre tank lock tank bag and in that will be things like my camera, passport, phone, wallet, things that I want easy access to on the day of travel, uh, a couple of cans of drink, chewy bars, stuff like that to keep going, waterproof cover, and a peg. And that is for whether you're going on channel tunnel or on the boat, they'll give you a little card to, with a number on to put on your screen of your bike. You can just clip that to whatever screen you've got rather than stick it on. So in terms of luggage, that is it. Because I'm using soft luggage, which can easily be stolen from the bike when unattended, I've got a what's called a pack safe 80 litre stuff sack. And with it comes this exo mesh uh, cover, if you like. Now I can fit this bag inside this, which means that I can then strap this part around the bike and chain it to the bike permanently. So whilst I'm riding and whilst I'm le when I leave the bike, the bag itself is secured to the bike itself. I've not packed yet, but I have done a trial run already to make sure that everything I need to take fits within that bag. Top tip there, check it a week or so, a couple of weeks before you go, that the bags you've got A, fit to your bike, and B, are big enough to take everything that you want to take. Now when it comes down to stuff that you want to take, what I do on my phone is it's got a notes function. So I make a note about the trip. This includes everything from the dates of the trip, what's planned for each day, predicted mileage for the day, um, hotels, travel, everything that we're going to do on the trip is in here. So I can have a quick look and I know exactly what is planned for the day. I also put in cost of the accommodation so we keep track of what that is between us. And on this trip there is four of us that are going sharing two rooms. And then I make a note of what clothes it is that I need to take. And then when I pack them, I just strike through 
on the notes app. So to give you an idea what I've packed for an eight night trip is five pairs of normal socks, five pairs of trainer socks because the weather is predicting that it's going to be quite warm so I might want to wear shorts, uh, a couple of pairs of biking socks for the longer days, um, base layers, I haven't got a set of base layers for every day but because we've got two hotels where we're staying overnight in the same hotel I can rinse a pair out leave them hanging whilst we're out of the hotel for the day so they can dry and they can be worn so I've got five sets of base layers to take six pairs of boxer shorts because most of the day I'm going to be in base layers the boxes are just for a couple of hours in the evening a pair of jeans a pair of shorts and I've got three t-shirts that I will class as bike t-shirts which will just be old round neck t-shirts just to go over base layers and under my jacket you can double them up and wear them a couple of days on the bike then five casual t-shirts for going out in the evening and then the day off the bike um, a hoodie or a mid layer to go under the jacket during the day but also that you can double up for putting on if you're going out in the evening if it's a bit chilly um, a pair of trainers a hat if it's sunny and then toiletries if you're sharing a room with somebody talk talk to each other before you go share the toiletries what's the point of you both turning up into a hotel room unpacking your toiletries bag and you've both got shampoo you've both got toothpaste uh, you've both got a spray deodorant talk with your mates work out what you can share and, sp and uh, spread the load between the bikes so stuff that will be taken just your normal toiletries, shampoo, shower gel, razor, shave gel, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant. Uh, wet wipes are a handy thing to take. Suntan cream if it's going to be warm. Uh, good recommendation is a dustbin bag. So that when each day you can put your dirty washing inside the dustbin bag. Which keeps you the clean stuff and dirty stuff separate in the same bag. And then you want your chargers and extension cables, whatever it is, to make sure you've got charging your phones, etc. And your European adapter if you're going to Europe or your American one, depending on where you're going. And then waterproof, spare pair of gloves, some gaffer tape, cable ties. If you've got a bike that runs a chain, some chain lube, a cloth to wipe that down, set of Allen keys, a, a puck because it might be parked on soft ground. Uh, a dislock for just when you're parking up in towns during the day. A chain and lock for when you're parking overnight and at the hotel. Then I've got my video camera that I'm recording this on, my Gorilla Pod, drift camera that will be on the helmet, a spare microphone, relevant charging cables, and then four cans of Red Bull and some Rice Krispie bars. Sat nav wise, I should got I've downloaded Copilot app to the iPhone 8 Plus and I shall run that and just keep it charged during the day. They're offline maps so it doesn't use any data. And that's about it. You might think that you need a bike t-shirt for every day and in the first years I started doing this that's what I thought and all I ended up doing was coming back with a load of clean washing. Base layers and everything like that, they dry fairly quick. If you've only got a couple, take them as soon as you're off the bike in the evening, wash them, hang them up in the hotel room, and then by the morning they should be dry. Anyway, I should be making a video of the trip, which I shall upload afterwards, which, fingers crossed, comes out okay. Um, but in terms of this video, I hope you found that useful and of interest. If you haven't done any touring on your bike before, get out do it it's great fun um nothing like touring on a motorcycle free anyway as i say hope you found that of interest uh next video that uploaded should be that uh, sorry the next video that i will upload should be the trip itself but in the meantime safe riding and uh i shall catch you soon for now ciao